All right, so if you have an older vehicle that does not have automatic headlights, this is an aftermarket product that you can buy and install in your car, and it works really well. I totally risk doing it. Uh, this thing comes from Taiwan, very well made. So far, uh, no issues with it. Um, I did not do the wiring of it. Um, I had Best Buy actually install it. Uh, I probably could have attacked it, but I just, I'm so busy, I don't have that kind of time. So I'll walk through it here real quick to give you a, an overview. So here it's showing uh, the automatic light system and uh, the various things. It'll do daytime running, I guess, if your car has daytime running lights. Uh, here's the unit itself, although maybe it looks a little crazy. Um, <clears throat> it's actually quite simple. So the lower portion there, start from the bottom of the picture up, this lower piece here, the sensor, uh, goes on your dashboard. So none of those wires you have to worry about wiring. So you have the, from the bottom is the light sensor, then you have the button which you push to control, uh, to override the system, and then the far one I think is the LED. Okay, and so that's what that lower bundle of wires is about that plugs in and uh, then the upper portion there's just four wires and uh, that's actually not that difficult to wire up although I know I didn't do it someone else did in any event this shows them detached the only issue that uh, that we had is that that lower one see the little white plug that one um, the socket on mine wasn't the, the female portion of the socket was not put, pulled all the way down. And so although it looked like it was plugged in, none of the, uh, none of the metal leads were actually connecting into the wires. So the, uh, the system would just turn the lights on all the time. There was no automatic sensing. So once I scooted those things down on the motherboard, um, everything looked worked great. I'm very happy with the thing so far. <clears throat> okay, this shows uh, the car entering a tunnel and how quickly it would turn the lights on um, within five seconds is the uh, I think the overall time traveled before it'll turn on the light so it's extremely uh, responsive and you'll see that in the video that I show you um, so let me go back to this so again you get this on eBay I'll put the link in the video and they're showing it's from Taiwan. They're very responsive. I've already sent them a couple of questions that I had. It has a lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of detail. So um, you can read this obviously on your own, but um, it also mentions that it can be wired up. And I need to ask them about that. If you turn your windshield wipers on, it'll automatically turn the lights on. So don't let this part scare you um, again the, the main thing is those four wires the red the orange the brown and the green and the green goes to ground so really you're just talking about three wires um, so yeah and they give you a bunch of different pictures they get a lot into the descriptions the LED that's on there has um, three different modes if it's daylight it'll be green and what's funny is your your headlights <clears throat> will act as normal. So your switch, right, to turn the lights on. So if you choose not to, um, well, actually, no one would even know, right? You're driving around, your light, you turn your lights on manually, they turn on, they turn off, everything's totally cool. If it gets towards dusk, the sensor, they turn red. The LED turns red. In that case, if you try, the lights will automatically come on. If you turn the headlight, um, switch on or off in the vehicle it it's completely overridden so no you can't turn the lights off or on unless you really want it to and I can explain that later with the switch <clears throat> and then when it's completely dark uh, the LED and again this is kind of in the distance it's not distracting at all it's on your dashboard it's kind of you know within arm's reach but anyway um, the sensor turns yellow if it's completely dark and again the the headlights will um, remain on. The, the headlight switch doesn't do anything at that point because it's completely driven from this com uh, component. And uh, yeah, so here they're showing, you know, it's direct. And here's just more description. And they compare themselves to other brands. And 
Here you can see wiring diagrams for both Japanese, European, and some others. And here's the unit itself. It has some uh, dip switches that can be <clears throat> overriding, I guess, whether it's a European coding or a Japanese coding. And I let them know ahead of time about my year and make model. And I did note, I noticed that it, it was the jumpers were set accordingly for Japanese, in this case, the 2004 Mazda 3. And it came with all, everything that you need. And again, these guys are very responsive. Here's their uh, contact information. And you just email these guys and they'll respond back to you. And I told them too about the motherboard thing that I said where those leads weren't plugged in all the way. And uh, they were appreciative of that. So let me get into the video and then I'll show you guys uh, how it looks and works. All right, cool, thanks. So if you have an older car, this is a 2004 Mazda, and it did not have auto lights on and off. So here is the sensor. It's got an LED, a button you push down, and the uh, actual light sensor itself right there is in the dash. Here it is from this side, right there. That runs down and there is a control box behind this panel. So if you have a Mazda 2004, Mazda 3, this thing has a clip that slides over, pops down, and out. That's the, the hatch for the hood. And there's a screw. You undo the screw, and this panel comes down from over here, pops out, and uh, it's wired up. I went to Best Buy, they wired it up. I didn't want to do the wiring. Too lazy. They only charge 55 bucks. They got it in there. And uh, I'll show you how it works. So right now it's overcast. So you should see the LED, I believe, will be green. So I'm gonna put the key in. Shut the door. You should see that. Uh, somehow turn the green here. Turn the light. There we go. Can we see the LED? I think that, yeah, you can kind of see that green LED. So, the lights are off. Okay, so when it's green, the lights actually function as they normally would. So they're off right now. If I want to turn them on, it turns on. As we know, it's expecting it to be dark, so it dims this so it's not so bright. So that's why you're seeing that fade down, but you have to trust me, the lights are on. In fact, the LED, or the, not LED, but the light indicator shows the lights are on. So this all functions automatically. So if I turn this off, it goes off. But the moment it goes dark over here, I'm gonna put my hand down, right? So that remember, it's off. The moment I cover this, See, it automatically, automatically turns the lights on. Then I will take my hand away. And it takes a bit longer because if you go into a tunnel or whatever, it'll auto sense that. And it's, it's much actually much faster than, than um, stock vehicles that have their sensor. So um, that's actually a really good thing. Very happy with it. Um, and at night, if if it's dusk or at night, if you try turning these off and on, it's actually somewhat becomes disabled. Well, actually it does. It does nothing because they always stay on. This overrides this. If you want to change that, you can click and hold this button for two seconds up here, and then it goes back to complete standard. So it doesn't do anything. So uh, just something to uh, to pay attention to. But overall, very happy with it, and I'll leave a link in the video, and let me know what you think. All right, take care. If you like this video, remember to subscribe, and uh, I'll do more like this. Try different things. All right.